Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 47 for Wednesday, May 27th, 2015. To do list managers. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by SmartThings. SmartThings lets you monitor, control, and automate your home from wherever you are using your smartphone. Right now, SmartThings is offering Android App Arena listeners 10% off select kits and get free shipping in the US when you go to smartthings.com slash arena and use the offer code arena at checkout. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. People love making lists. I know I do. I'm just such a scatterbrain, actually. Uh, sometimes sitting down, creating a list of the things that I need to do is the only way that I can monitor my own progress and actually make it all happen without totally biffing it along the way. And once again, tasks and to-dos are made way easier and, more importantly, more mobile, thanks to that cell phone that we have in our pockets at all times. Google has actually made an incredible app in this category. It's called Google Keep. I use it very frequently, more for spur-of-the-moment notes to myself and small off-the-cuff lists, I'd say, but Keep isn't the only player in this space, not by a long shot. Over the years, I've used all apps in today's Best of the Best, and they each tackle to-do list management a bit differently from each other. So hopefully, I can help you Find your favorite flavor in this week's Best of the Best. First up, a to-do app that integrates nicely with your tasks from Gmail, and also with Google Calendar, actually. GTasks has been around a long time and has been given the material design refresh. GTasks is really quite simple in execution, and when it comes to apps that manage your tasks, do you really want to overcomplicate things to the point where you simply don't want to use it at all? Let me answer that. No, you probably don't. With GTasks, you simply grant it permission to tap into your tasks list inside Gmail, and after a short sync, all of your category lists and tasks will appear in one giant list. So if you have a lot of categories, the all view will kind of be pretty large and relatively unsorted. Swiping left or right jumps you to the other categories that you've defined. Tapping on a task takes you into the editor so you can add to it. Also, at the top, you can tap next to the date there, and that'll take you to the calendar picker so you can assign a target date and set a nice reminder for yourself. You can also determine if you want that calendar event to be recurring in the future. Now, in the category page, I see that task with an assigned date to the right, so that lets you keep track of that from that page. If you want to create a task from scratch, Tap the floating action button, and there you go. Everything should look pretty familiar. It's really as simple as that. Slide out the side tray to get a glimpse of all of your task list categories, and you can edit those as well if you need to reorder or delete or add a new category to that mix. There's a nice assortment of widgets for your home screen as well, six to be exact. And with the premium version, you'll get customized background sync for keeping things up to date, there's security lock for your tasks, themes, and a few other options. GTasks runs the risk of maybe being a bit shallow on features, but it plays so nicely with Gmail tasks that it definitely deserves a closer look. Find GTasks for free with a $4.99 premium upgrade in the Play Store right now. Next, we go from feature light to feature rich. If Android users were to manage a list of some of the most popular to-do list managers, Wonderlist would definitely be near the top. Wonderlist has cross-platform capabilities as one of its biggest strengths with apps for all the major mobile and computing platforms. The design is nice with material touches where it counts while still maintaining a sense of brand identity that makes Wonderlist feel like its own product. From the main screen, I can tap into any of my task categories to see the tasks inside. That star adds it to my starred list so I can keep track of important tasks in that place. Any task 
can be tapped into in order to set a due date, a reminder, or you can even attach a file to that particular task. Or you can assign that task to one of your contacts. One of the biggest strengths of Wonderlist is your ability to share and collaborate lists with others, like this list that my wife and I use to keep track of Christmas gifts for our daughter a while back. You can add a comment to a list, and that'll actually start a conversation that can be tracked easily in this conversation tab. There's also this activities tab, which again, keeps you posted when a collaborator adds something to a shared task. You can manage sharing options at the bottom of any list, and that plus actually invites people into the list. The globe allows you to tailor the list in descriptive ways like adding a cover photo, a description, and enabling comments. That way you can then publish that list out to the world, make it public. And that pen lets you manage the people that have access to the list itself, as well as activate the do not disturb mode, which means you won't be notified of changes to that list unless something is assigned specifically to you or your name is mentioned in a comment. Wonderlist has Android Wear support for managing your list on your wrist and Google Now support as well. Wonderlist also comes equipped with three actionable widgets. If this isn't enough, you can subscribe to Wonderlist Pro for $4.99 per month or $49.99 per year. With Pro, you'll receive unlimited everything practically, from unlimited file attachments to unlimited sharing and delegation options for sharing workload to unlimited subtasks. So you can break your big tasks down into smaller ones that you can delegate and hopefully eliminate eventually. And finally, Pro makes things prettier with a handful of new backgrounds. But the free version is pretty packed. So check it out by searching for Wonderlist in the Play Store right now. Finally, a to-do management app that looks a bit different from the previous two with a focus on keeping you up on your daily tasks. AnyDo has always set itself apart with its unique visual approach. We're not talking traditional material design aesthetic here. This is purely original and consistent between AnyDo's many cross-platform apps. You can see what I mean with this. This is the grid view. These are the category lists that I've created. Things animate nicely when I tap into and out of these lists. My grocery list here shows all the items I need to make a good ham and cheese sandwich. Any item can be tapped to reveal actions like adding reminders based on time or even location. There's attaching a note to a file or an audio recording, sharing, and delegation. Uh, so you can delegate that task to someone else. And finally, creating a subtask, which is handy for breaking a task down into components to better manage it. AnyDo revels in its collaboration capabilities. Any task or list can be shared with others very easily. You just tap that plus icon up top and search for the lucky victim. Creating a task inside a list is done with a floating action button. And as you type in that task, you'll get a very useful autofill. Super handy. One thing that sets AnyDo apart is the feature called AnyDo Moment. Here, you're given an interface with which to manage how and when you will tackle your tasks. With each pending task, you can select to set it to be done today, later, you can delete it, or assign it as already done. It's a tool to help you plan your day and get more stuff done, ultimately. That's all part of the free version. But there is a catch. Free users get only five moments per month, plus file size limits for uploads and sharing limits on to-do lists. If you want to go all in on any do, you'll have to sign up for a recurring premium plan, which runs $2.99 per month or $26.99 per year. For that, you'll get unlimited file size for your attachments, unlimited collaboration capabilities, a bunch of themes, custom recurring tasks, reminders based on your location, security passcode, and elevated support. So you get a lot for your money. Check out AnyDo's unique approach to task management in the Play Store now. Now, as I have said before, I've used all of these as my go-to tasks list managers at one time or another. G-Tasks definitely simplifies and hooks into Gmail tasks, which has been very useful. Nice having that kind of hook into my Gmail. Wonderlist brings a lot of extra thought and development for cross-platform support and excellent collaboration tools. And AnyDo brings a focused attention to not only giving you a vector for making lists, but aiding you in actually fulfilling those lists when you need it. Between these three, I have to say that my favorite is kind of tough to choose between Wonderlist and AnyDo, but because I have to pick one, 
let's go with any do. It's premium pricing plan right now anyways is a little more affordable. It's half off right now, so get in while it lasts. And it offers much of the same features as Wonderlist. And of course, the big hook is any do moment. Super handy. If you're like me, you need a little nudge here and there. That single feature could actually make you more productive than with the other apps. So check them out for yourself. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. That would be Smart Things. I love Smart Things. Smart Things is so cool because it's all about interconnectivity in your house and making your home smart. Smart Things has made it easier than ever to turn your home into a smart home. If you've dabbled with home automation in the past, you know it's you know used to be wildly expensive. Just to get started, most companies use proprietary systems, each with its own user experience. SmartThings changes all that. This is the SmartThings hub. It controls lights, locks, security, everything through a simple iOS, Android, or Windows phone app. This is the moisture sensor right here. Because it's an open platform, SmartThings works just as well with its own sensors as it does with connected devices like Dropcam, uh, Schlage locks, Honeywell thermostats, hundreds more. The list is huge. SmartThings is so revolutionary, in fact, that it won the CES 2015 Editor's Choice Award. And that's just because you can do a ton of different things with SmartThings. All you got to do is use your imagination from home automation, things like turning your lights on or off from your phone. You can have your stereo play the Imperial March when you enter the house or something like that. Uh, get instant alerts if there's unexpected movement or entry in your home. You know, use this as a security solution. Set a camera to take a series of photos when there's motion in a room that, you know, entry is detected and you don't want that to be the case. Uh, use smart things to take a look at that. Energy savings, things like restricting electricity flow to certain electronics and appliances after a specific uh, period of time. Detecting water, if uh, you know if there's suddenly water where it doesn't belong, you can use smart things water detection uh, to tell you, and then you can go and you know you can save thousands of dollars in repairs as a result. Right now, until June 30th, Smart Things is offering its three most popular kits at a discount for our Twit audience. Get 10% off either the home security, energy saver, or water detection kit when you go to smartthings.com slash arena and use the offer code arena. It's the perfect way to get started with a smart home. For 10% off and free domestic shipping, go to smartthings.com slash arena and use the offer code arena. Easy enough to remember, right, folks? Uh, and we thank SmartThings for their continued support of Android App Arena and the Twit Network. Okay. Up next, let's take a look at a new app that can help you take three or four great photos and magically turn them into one. Sounds impossible? Okay, maybe not, but it's still pretty cool. Let's take a look. If you take a lot of photos and want to share them with maximum impact, then you might like what Instagram has cooking. Last week, they released an app that's been popular on iOS for a while called Layout. And it's not meant to be used solely with Instagram, which is nice because it's handy on pretty much any social network that you share photos to. Layout from Instagram allows you to select a small number of photos from your photo reel that you'll want to share in one single combined image. That's done in the bottom half of the screen here. This arrow pulls up any image location on your device. You can see all the different drives that have images inside. You can also select from photos that layout detects to be the faces inside your photos, and it does an okay job of detecting those automatically. Now, as you select the images for your collage, the actual layout templates up at the top will first appear and then change to reflect those photos that you've continued to add. Think of the layout templates as starting points that you'll tweak to perfection in a second. Find one you like and tap it to select. That layout will take over the screen and this is where you'll customize. Any picture in the layout can be dragged around, swapped with others. Boxes can be resized by tapping and then grabbing the handles and shifting them all around. You can even flip and mirror elements to make the composition fit your preference. Then just tap save to create the new layout image and that's saved to your device. From there, you can of course share to Instagram or Facebook with one single tap or to anywhere else with that big share button. Finally, layout has this photo booth options. Pretty cool. It makes it easy to set the number of pictures for your virtual photo booth and then fire off that timer forcing you to make dumb faces one picture at a time. Or maybe that's just me. 
Layout is well-designed and long overdue on the Android platform, and it's free right now in the Play Store. I'm kind of regretting that I let those screenshots through on this show. Um, I appreciate that Instagram released this not as a feature built into Instagram itself, but actually as a standalone app because it can really be kind of handy across the board. And some of this stuff happens automatically for me and probably for you too through Google's auto awesome processes. But you know, sometimes I get three or four picture collage com coming back through auto awesome and they're all super similar because I took them, you know, like really rapidly. At least here you can pick and choose and make it just right. So that's kind of the strength uh, of layout. Uh, as always, I love hearing from you guys. I love bringing your suggestions into the show. Your recommendations are always very helpful to me. So please send your favorite apps, your favorite categories, whatever you happen to have to arena at twit.tv. There's also a subreddit for the show. I post categories there. You guys are posting categories there as well. I ask you to tell me about your favorite apps that fall into those categories. If you have input on some of your favorite apps and categories, you can also add them there. AndroidAppArena.reddit.com. And you can find me on Google+. Plus. I also record this show live every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Tonight at live.twit.tv. And of course, if you missed the live taping, each week's episode will appear later that night on the site and in the feeds. And really, the main uh, place you need to remember is twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me once again today. My name is Jason Howell, and I will see you next week in the arena. Mm -hmm.